Okay, so in this video, we're going to show that the derivative of any constant uh, is zero. So here we have uh, d dx of c equals zero. So in other words, the derivative of c with respect to x uh, equals zero. And c just represents any constant. So it's pretty straightforward and simple to see how that's true. Um, we're just going to go straight to the definition of the derivative. So what we're going to do is say, uh, let f of x equal c. Okay, so c represents any real number at all, and uh, basically what we have is uh, our function f of x is just some number. Okay, so for example, like f of x equals 3, uh, f of x equals negative 5 halves, f of x equals pi, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, let f of x equal c, then uh, the derivative f prime of x equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h, okay? So this equals the limit as h goes to zero of what? Well, um, f of x is just a constant function, right? It's just c, so no matter what x is, okay, it's always just gonna be c. So in other words, you take this function, you put any number into it you want, any value of x, you're always gonna get back just c. So f of x is c, f of x plus h is also c. So this is just gonna be c minus c, uh, on the top, and then on the bottom we still just have h. So this basically just equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 0 divided by h. All right, uh, And 0 divided by h, of course, is just 0. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of 0. Uh, and we know that the limits of any constant is just that constant, no matter what's happening over here. So this is just going to be 0. All right. So this shows that regardless of the value of c, um, the derivative of a constant function, uh, f of x equals c, the derivative is always going to be 0. So that's uh, a proof of that. Let's see a couple of quick examples, uh, mostly just for notation, because um, we know what the outcome is going to be. Oh, it's just going to be 0, right? So let's uh, take a look at a couple here. So let's say we have example 1. Uh, g of x equals 4. And we want to find dg dx. All right. So um, again, this example is mostly just to uh, illuminate the kind of notation that you'll see. So if g of x equals 4, uh, we want to find dg dx, then dg dx, remember that's just the derivative, right? So that's going to be the derivative of g with respect to x. And g of x is just 4. So it's just a constant, so its derivative is zero. All right. Uh, let's check out example two. So example two, uh, let's say we have y equals negative 27.613. And we want to uh, find y double primed. Okay, well, here y equals negative 27.613, so uh, it's just a constant, right? So that means that the derivative of y is going to be 0, okay? But we want the second derivative. Well, what's the second derivative? Well, remember, the second derivative uh, is just the derivative of the first derivative, right? But the first derivative is 0. 0 is just a constant, so its derivative is also 0. So uh, that's our answer for example 2.